guys, welcome to the second episode of My Narrow Vert Life and I just want to take this opportunity to thank everybody that has liked, commented and subscribed to the channel so far. The response has been awesome. Thanks very much. Keep spreading the word everybody. Um, so I'm going to start doing my daily tasks today and the first thing I realised I needed some water. Now normally speaking on a narrowboat, especially when I used to be on the canals, the water points were quite close and um, there were quite a few of them. Whereas uh, on the river things were a little bit different, they were a bit fewer and farther between. And there is one at a lock near me, but it's right in the middle of the lock and the lock keeper doesn't like you using it because then obviously when you're using it, you're in the lock and the whole time that you're filling up the uh, water tank, you are using that lock and nobody else can use it. So there's luckily there's another tap nearby and I'm just gonna go to that today. And rather than taking my whole boat there, I'm actually going to take a canoe and I'm going to take some water containers and just fill them up um, and just top up my water tank. So I'll take you on that journey with me. Cheers. See you in a bit. Bye. So first thing I've noticed is the canoe appears to be full of rainwater. So I'm going to have to bail that out first. I've just spent uh, a day doing a recording session with my friend who lives on a boat as well and now I'm going to go and finally fill up with water but I just want to show you guys the amazing sunset that there is at the moment is insane This is something I was supposed to have completed uh, maybe a little bit earlier than now. Right, I'm all loaded up with water. I'm gonna now go for a, a night paddle back. So after collecting the water the other day, I'm gonna now put the water into my water tank. Um, and show you how I do that. Okay, I've got the water loaded on, and now the other important thing I need is this. So it's basically a kind of a funnel, and I, uh, I use this to get the water into the uh, water tank, because uh, it makes it a lot easier than trying to accurately pour it in. This has got a nice wide entrance to it. Okay, I'll show you how I do it. Okay, so here's my water tank, and then I use this uh, special key to undo it. And then put the funnel in, and the fun begins. So the final stage of the water is here, I guess. It's the gauge, the water gauge. This is where I can tell uh, how much water I've got left. And I can see I've got, you know, three quarters of a tankish. And this is sort of measured by a sensor that's near the uh, water tank. 
and I guess measures the pressure and occasionally you have to reset it and recalibrate it. So there you go. So thanks to all that effort, I now have water. Hey guys, I just wanted to share something with you, a thought I guess I had is that like a lot of the times when people think about uh, living on a narrowboat, they think about it in the summer and uh, when it's all nice and warm and everything's lovely. And so I thought I would uh, share with you what it's like in the rain, because uh, it's raining quite heavily at the moment actually, and you can probably hear it uh, like being against the roof and also then you just look out the window and it's gonna look quite miserable sometimes so I'll give you a look at that So okay, here's a here's a random thing. Um, the other day I got my uh, shoes a bit wet and that's a completely other story that I'll tell at some other point. But uh, in order to dry them off, I decided to put them in the oven. So I'll show you. Oh, and by the way, also my friend Rose is here. Say hello, Rose. Hi, boat neighbors. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, I'm currently cooking my shoes, I'll show you. So yeah, my shoes are in the oven. <laughs> And you can actually see, I don't know if you can see, but there's steam coming out of them at the moment. So uh, it's quite a good way of drying your shoes off if anybody's on a boat and wants to know about it. Uh, put them in the oven. It's not ridiculous at all. Hey guys, so what I'm doing today is I'm gonna go and do some laundry and um, basically just taking a big old hiking backpack, as you can see on my back there. Uh, I'm just walking down the towpath and I'm going to go to a laundrette, so it's going to be very exciting and I'm going to get you involved in this whole thing. So uh, I thought it was about time to do the sort of outro, I guess, of uh, this second episode of My Narrowboat Life. And, uh, you know, it's been a fun couple of weeks. Um, obviously, I've shared with you some things that I've been doing, like filling up with water and doing some laundry, which are some of the more mundane aspects. And also shared with you the fact that the weather isn't always good, obviously. And, you know... You just have something you just have to accept living on a boat. Um, also, I'd really like to take the opportunity. I know I mentioned this at the start of the video, but obviously, as I've been making this video, um, more and more people have been watching the first episode. And to be honest with you, I can't quite believe the reaction. It's like last time I checked, it was over seven thousand views on the first video, which is insane. 
and like uh, well over like 600 subscribers so thank you so much to everybody that has subscribed so far and it really like kind of fills me with enthusiasm to uh, keep making these videos basically. Uh, I'm also gonna, other than these main sort of uh, videos that I'm doing about my every day to day life, I've noticed that a lot of people have been asking about uh, like specific questions and so I'm actually gonna do a completely separate like almost Q&A video uh, for just the kind of questions people have asked about living on a narrowboat and some of you might, may also have noticed that I've um, been making uh, what YouTube calls shorts and they're just like very little videos um, and they tend to be I guess slightly more music orientated um, and you know every now and again I mean I don't know whether you guys know but I'm a musician and I just suddenly feel the urge to play some music and I thought why not share it with you guys because it's you know pretty much taking place on the river so it is boat related so hopefully you guys are enjoying those shorts as well so yeah thanks very much for supporting the channel and um, hopefully I'm gonna be able to do these videos every couple of weeks or so and yeah keep supporting it and I'll see you guys soon bye bye